Players become made obsolete by every single block of concrete. This is a project that will never be complete. No, the work will never cease because the missing piece is peace. protest for the people of Gaza. For the people of Gaza, free Palestine! Yes, I was born in 1949, which was just one year after 1948, and I've lived with this whole occupation of Palestine all my life. And it's a terrible, terrible thing, and we have to sort it out. And that's why I'm here today. I've been coming on these things for years. I hope we win. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, I'm here today in solidarity with the people of Gaza who are being bombarded and murdered and tormented by an Israeli government that has lost all humanity and which unfortunately is backed by both the British government and especially by the United States. So there's a special duty on all of us in Britain and the United States to get out on the street about this. And finally, I'm also here today as a Jew who opposes Zionism and who feels that these kind of actions, what Israel is doing in Gaza now, make a terrible mockery of the suffering of the Holocaust. Thank, Thank you very much. I'm here because four years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, we were hoping for a Palestinian state. Certainly 12 years ago, there was a possibility of a Palestinian state, and then we got 2001, and all of that disappeared. And since then, it's been a constant squeeze on the Palestinians, whether in the West Bank, where the Israeli government are today lining up along the Jordan border, in order to be able to put more troops in, moving Palestinians away from the border, or in Gaza, where in fact they're throttling the people in Gaza. And four years ago we had the invasion, two years ago we were outside this embassy again because of their actions, and yet again at this season of the year we're here, where the Israelis, for whatever reason, have decided that they want to attack. Thank you. I'm here today to um, demonstrate against the uh, killings in Gaza, against the uh, Israeli occupation of Palestine. I'm here today in support of the Palestinians to stop Israeli terror. I come from a Jewish family and I totally support the Palestinians. Okay, um, well, I'm basically here because of the rocket attacks launched on the Gaza Strip by the Israeli government uh, and I'm here like everyone else to protest against the murder of innocent men, uh, women and children um, and we want to build a movement basically uh, that unites all people against war and against terrorism. We're here today to protest against the Israeli attacks on the Gaza Strip. We're also opposed to any invasion that the Israeli government might be planning against Gaza. And we also oppose all the uh, terror attacks on either side. We oppose the missiles and we oppose the Israeli uh, bombing of Gaza. Thank you. I'm here today to protest against the war that's going to be launched in the Middle East by the Israeli government against the Palestinian people and other nations. So I'm here first because there's a massacre and you know there's a, there's a complete injustice and the way that the media are reporting about it ignores the fact that Palestinian life is, is precious and valuable and it makes it into this thing that it's a conflict. It's not a conflict, it's the oppressor and the oppressed. Secondly I'm here because I'm a revolutionary and I want to bring down the very state that supports Israel and allows it to exist. I don't want to be with the revolutionaries who are in Gaza and the revolutionaries who are in Tahrir Square and in Aleppo at the moment and the best way to do so is to fight here. So you know we may do this today but tomorrow you know we'll be on the street for something else, we'll be with people who are striking as well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Rob. Yeah. Thank you very much. So I'm here because I, you know, I'm absolutely appalled by what uh, Israel are doing yet again in their Gaza. And what's actually really inspiring is that there's so many people here and young, lot of young people and people who've never been 
on the protests, you know, Jews, Christians, atheists, trade unions, working class people who come from everywhere who are going to actually fight and hopefully, you know, in the spirit of the Arab Spring. I believe you're Jewish yourself. And I'm Jewish myself. Yes. Uh, and I believe, you know, in the spirit of the Arab Spring, that actually people need to fight back and resist and overthrow um, the brutal occupation that is in Israel, but also as a result, the imperialism, the West imperialism in the Middle East, and actually liberate the great people. And hopefully, we'll see a revolution in the region that will that will achieve that. Thank you. See ya. Okay, I'm here today because I'm a member of the Socialist Party, uh, which is uh, part of the Committee for a Workers International, and we have uh, members uh, in Palestine and Israel um, who are also having the same struggle, and we're here in solidarity with them and in, with the people of Gaza who are experiencing the horrific uh, attack by the Israeli government, um, and, and we're fighting against that happening. We, uh, you know, understand that Israel is doing this to distract uh, its own people from what it's doing to them as well. Um, the imperial powers of America and so on uh, are intervening and we're fighting against that. Thank you. I'm here today to protest about the disproportionate violence of the Israeli state. The fourth largest uh, military force in the world is disproportionate force and oppression of the Palestinian people and in particular the people of Gaza that threatens peace in the Middle East uh, and threatens the peace of the world. All over the world people are demonstrating today for a ceasefire for Israel to call back its mass mobilisation for a war that will soon spin out of control. Well, hello, uh, my name is Ar Sharifi and I'm here today to show my solidarity with the people of Gaza and also show my disgust in what the Israeli government is doing to Gaza and Palestine in general. I feel that there is not enough coverage of what's happening to the people in Gaza from children to women that have been slaughtered and massacred and it's not a new thing, this has been happening for 30, 40 years and it's ongoing. We need more demonstrations and protests like this to raise awareness because the media isn't doing it. I just think there needs to be a very, very strong movement to stop the Zionist government infecting the minds of the people, especially in England, about, oh, the poor Israelis, the poor Israelis. No, no, not at all. It's the poor Gazans and Palestinians that have been dying on a daily For basis. 60, over 60 years. 60 years. And all we hear about is Israel, a couple of rockets sent over. Yes, okay, if innocent people are dying in Israel, wrong. But in Gaza, Palestine, thousands, millions of people are dying. That's what I'm here for. We need to tear down Zion and completely destroy it and give the land back to the Palestinians. I'm against Israeli terrorism against the Palestinian people. The media is saying that Israel is the victim, but Israel is not the victim. Israel is the abuser, the perpetrator. I'm saying to them, leave the Palestinians to determine their own future in their own land, get off their land, and freedom for the Palestinian people. Hi, please be with you. My name is Marwa Tagwesti. I'm here today showing my support for the people of Palestine because we all live in this one world together. Um, I'm against what Israel are doing, what Zionists are doing, because as you see on the media, all you see is what's happening to Israel or Palestine, um, as in free people dying, may they rest in peace, but you don't see the thousands of people, innocent Palestinians dying every day, the thousands of Palestinians who've been chucked out of their homes because Israel have paid people from here who are poor to go and live in their homes. Now, in the time of um, Salah al Ayyubi, he invaded. Now, what he did, he didn't kill the Christians, he didn't kill the Jews off, and he didn't kill the Muslims off. He let them live in peace. We all live together in peace for a very, very long time. Now, this peace has been taken away from when 1948 this has been going on. So I just wish peace for our people and for it to go into the news and for it to get published. Thank you. Uh, we are we're, we're here today uh, from Haringey Justice for Palestinians in support of the uh, people of Gaza and um, we've been building in the, our local area as much as possible uh, all the time. This is a particularly bad situation at the moment but the uh, Palestinian people are, a bit, uh, are quite clearly uh, are, uh, getting support from all over the world and we want to see it get bigger and bigger. Hi, I'm here today to speak 
for humanity and that it's unacceptable to assert any terror and uh, practices that Israel does uh, on, on Gaza um, and to make people aware of the big issue, global issue that should be paid attention to. Thank you very much. We have come here because really we feel that enough is enough. As a human being, we no longer can tolerate this sort of abuse against innocent people, children, men, women. We cannot really accept that every time Israeli government goes through election, what they have to do, they have to show that which one of them have got more blood on their hand. The one who's got more blood on their hand, the one that is willing to kill more innocent people, then he becomes uh, eligible, more eligible to become uh, elected. This actually says a really horrible message, not just about the politicians in, in occupied Palestine, but it actually says a very, uh, very uh, horrible message of what the population of Israelis actually are motivated. They are motivated by seeing who kills more and then electing them. We need to say enough is enough in the international community. So I'm here today to support the Palestinian people. We love them to death. We'll never forget about them. Thinking about them all the time. So behind you, we are here. Right behind you. I'm here to support Gaza. Well, I've been researching into Israel-Palestine for a while now and I was quite struck a couple of days ago when I came across a bunch of reports on the killing of Hamas personnel and of Palestinian civilians in Gaza and to my understanding this broke a truce that had recently been established or was soon to be established and it's not the first time Israel's broken a truce it's not the first time they've needlessly killed civilians and escalated violence and that's why I'm here <laughs> thank you very much thanks a lot side of a population to support the Palestinian people and to show them that we are with them attack, that they are not alone and that Israel's aggression cannot continue Two things. One is complain to the BBC about their biased coverage. Don't just sit there and take it. Complain. The second thing is we have power as well. We have social media. We have a way of getting the message out to the world. I want you to be sending messages, sending emails, sending photos via Twitter, via Facebook, via all the social media. In every single report, in every single... ...controls the mind, and I will... ...the team, the Zionist regime, the helpless screams, no dreams for the children of Gaza. The ones that grow with no mother or father and a response that erupts onto the streets like lava and a tear is shed for every single martyr but rather it's a crime against yourself and me in the place that we live a feeling of helplessness there is more that we can give